welcome to Univip. In this experiment, we'll be talking about the energy loss of magnetic material using BH curve. So in this experiment, we'll be plotting a BH curve or we'll be presenting a BH curve with this CRO of this transformer right here. This transformer has a primary coil and a secondary coil over here. And we need, we'll be needing some apparatus that I'll be showing you. That is uh, this BH curve unit, which will be provided to you during your examinations. This is a CRO. This, should, this is the most important thing. You'll be having two cables like this with ends coming out, two ends, we'll be using it, I'll show you how to be, should be done. Alright, let me start with the connection with this. At first what you gotta do is, primary coil, as we know transformer has two different coils, primary coils and a secondary coil, and as you see in a BH curve unit, we have PP and SS, P stands for primary and S stands for secondary. So what you do, you put the primary inside primary, you put the red inside the red, there you go, simple job and you put the green inside the green that is secondary inside secondary that's it all right this is the first part you need to know primary to primary and secondary to secondary now we use this cable channels over here these channels will be representing your vertical axis and your horizontal axis so one uh, one cable will be your horizontal component the other will give you a vertical component since we have a graph plotted over here in 2D, that means it should take both horizontal and vertical component. That's why we use two different cables. So let me put this in a far most corner. At this side, all right, this is my vertical component. At this edge, this edge is my vertical component and I'll be putting it in vertical CRO and ground. Remember, vertical CRO and the ground at the side. Right? Use the other cable that's provided to you and put it at the other hole. Now this will be your horizontal. This side will be your horizontal. Put it inside to where we have your horizontal CR over here. One pin goes to horizontal CR and the other pin will go to ground. And there we'll have a last cable left. This last cable will go to this end two points that is D and A or D and B or D and C anything as per your wish. Now, let me explain you what D and A and B and C means. So what happens over here is A, B and C are registers that have inputted over here. That is, the value of A is 5 ohm, the value of B is 6, uh, sorry, the value of B is 15 ohm and the value of C is 50 ohm, 5050 ohm. So I hope you understood the, cal uh, the normal setup. Now let me open the CRO and let me show you how it is how the BX curve is created. Now, opening my CRO, I'm opening my setup. Okay, uh, you have to wait for a minute. You'll be. Yeah. Now, in some conditions, as you can see, is right now I'm only facing a straight line. If this is shown to you more than one or two minutes uh, from the CRO is open, that means the connection you made over here is mistake. It's not a huge mistake, but the only thing you gotta do is just change the vertical and ground component. Just change the pin you put in over there, vertical to ground, vertical to ground. Still, I have nothing, so let me again change horizontal, horizontal, taking out horizontal ground to horizontal, and back to the ground. So, so wow. All right, so as you just saw, there was a vertical line over there, and when the vertical line is appearing for more than one minute, all you gotta do is change the configuration of key that you put in over here that is vertical to ground and ground to vertical horizontal to ground and ground to vertical you just change the situation your bh curve will appear and if it is not appearing after even after you do that that means something is wrong with this device itself right this is one of the device that you may or may not get let me show you the type of a device that you might have a possibility of getting is Okay, just wait for a moment. I'll show you in a moment later. But this is my BH curve that I've obtained over here, right? So what, what I'm gonna do in this experiment, you'll be needing this tracing paper, right? This is a tracing paper. What, you, what you'll do is, uh, let me put it for A is equal, put it in A, okay, see it over here. And my first hole is in A, and the value of A is, yes, uh, five O, right? So let me do some configuration so as you have the maximum reading. Just check it out over here. My graph is maximum over here. If I shift even once or twice, it's going to go exceed. That means I'm, I don't want that. So change it back. Let me check my Y shift. Yeah. 
even when I change my Y state, what's happening is exceeding. That means I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to shift it back. All right. Now I'm going to put my tracing paper in. So I have my VH curve over here. It's not so straight because my angle of sitting is kind of difficult to draw. But when you're sitting, make sure the CR is vertical towards you, which makes it even easier to draw. And if by any chance, if you're not seeing the line, there is both button over here for intensity. That is, you can increase and decrease, and you can also increase and decrease the focus. That means it will also give you more penetration through this paper, which will be very easier for you to draw. All right, so when you put it in V equals to 15, and yeah, uh, one more thing. Make sure you take the note of this and this value. That is, X shift, X value, and Y value. On X value equals to, let's say, 0 0.5 over here. 0 0.5 over here, I have the maximum output and y value equals to same 0 0.5 I again have the maximum output so right on the graph itself what you do you put x equals to 0 0.5 y equals to 0 0.5 this implies that on 0 0.5 for both x and y value what's happening is you're gonna you're getting the maximum in a uh, curve inside your screen all right so let me put it in 15 the value of b all right, I put it in 15. As you can see again, one part is going out from this edge, right? So what you what I'm going to do, I'm going to alter it. I'm going to reduce it. Okay, I'm going to reduce it x by one. Let's reduce y by one. Okay, it's not happening. So, oh, all right. So I reduce x by one. I'm going to put my tracing paper in again. All right, this time let me try it very nicely. There you go. All right, a bit better than the last one. So I'm gonna mark the X shift and the Y shift again. X, the value of X implies is one this time, and the value of Y that implies is again 0 0.5. So the same goes for C. I, I don't have any space over here. So I want you to do is, when you test, put it in C, adjust X and Y, all right, you're gonna get your maximum curve. Make sure how you determine your maximum curve is if you go one shift earlier than that, the value of this will be outer. So go down, there's your curve, right? This is for the C. 